Hi everyone, it's Bethany Mergia back again with story time with Thunder. Hi Thunder. And Luna. Today we're going to read Do You Believe in Unicorns? But before we read that, let me tell you a little bit about these dogs. They're called Vishlas. Vishla is a Hungarian word and it means alert. And yes, these two are usually very, very alert. important if you want to be a creative person. It's also important if you want to find magic in the world. I think there's a lot of magic hiding out there just waiting to be discovered if you're paying attention. So with that in mind, we're going to read Do You Believe in Unicorns? And here is the end sheet. And maybe those are horseshoes and maybe they're U's for unicorn. Hmm. And our title page, again, Do You Believe in Unicorns? By me. And our dedication page, this book is dedicated to Thunder. Thunder Paws is her fuller name. And take a look there, pay attention to some of the details. You'll see a little green creature, lizard kind of creature behind the hat. It'll be important. Hey, look, it's a horse in a hat. Okay. No, I do not think it could be a unicorn in disguise. That's ridiculous. Do we notice anything there? Is that little green creature back again? Okay, just something to notice, something to pay attention to. It's just a horse, a horse who woke up with messy hair. That's why it's wearing a hat. And again, it's interesting. There are a lot of sparkles behind that horse in that mirror. I wonder what that's all about. Hmm. Tell me this. Why would a unicorn want to hide its horn? Any ideas? Maybe, maybe it wants to be anonymous. Maybe it's just a horse. We don't know yet. It's going to be up to you to decide. You think unicorns like to keep people guessing? I think it's just a horse whose favorite color is red. You can look at the exhaust coming out of that truck. There's some sparkles there. Or a horse who doesn't want the sun in its eyes. Then again, do horses usually have trails of butterflies behind them? Hard to say. I've never seen that. Do you really think it could be that easy to find a unicorn? Now, while you're looking at this page, take a close look at the reflection in the water. Do you notice anything about that character's reflection? Hmm. Let's be realistic. It's probably a horse trying to keep its head dry. What do you notice here? Anything sort of magical going on behind that, that character? I see a rainbow. I do think a horse would take its hat off for tea though. Look at that trail of multicolored leaves leading to that character. Hmm. So I suppose I can't be completely entirely certain it's not a unicorn. And if you look closely, make sure I get close, you'll see that character is winking at you. What do we think about that? Oh, thank goodness. Now we'll know for sure. The hats have been taken off. What are we going to find on the next page? Let's see. It's a... Well, tell me, what do you think? What are you seeing there? Is that a unicorn? Maybe. Is that a horse with a building behind its head? Maybe. Hmm, let's change, turn the page. Maybe we'll know then. Hold on a minute. Maybe you can only see unicorns. Is that a unicorn? 
Is that a horse with a mountain behind it? It's so hard to know. But maybe you can only see unicorns if you believe in them. And here again, what do you see? Is it horses running through grass? Or is it unicorns? I think it's up to you to decide what's there. And on that very last page, see that little green character one more time, but this time looking a little less like a lizard and a little bit more like a dragon. And that's Do You Believe in Unicorns? And I wrote that book because I wanted readers to be able to make up their own minds about whether they're seeing horses or unicorns. So you can let me know what you think it is. Usually when I talk to schools and to students, they're split about half and half. Some are sure it's a unicorn, some are sure it's a horse. It can go either way. Now, a couple of things to mention. The back of this book is sort of fun because you can make your own unicorn by finding something behind this, something that will work behind it to make it look like a horn. So you can carry it around your house and find the perfect thing that turns this character into a unicorn. As well, there are a few things that I wanted to mention that are on my website, additional activities that you can do to go along with this book. So my website is aquapup.com. Let's see here. That's what it looks like. And if you click on the Do You Believe in Unicorns link, you will be taken to a page that has more info about the book. And at the bottom, there are some activities. So one of those is a coloring page that you can download and color your unicorn exactly as you would like it to be colored. Another thing is a discussion guide there. So parents, if you wanna discuss this book more with your kids and some of the themes in it around how we see the world and how we interpret the world when we're not exactly sure what's in front of us, that's a great resource. And then there's also a link to this website called Find More Magic that goes along with this book. And on this website, you'll see a link up here for Unicorn Cam, which is a free app that's downloadable for iPads and for um, iPhones. It doesn't work on Android yet, but for both of those, it works. It's free. There are, there are no commercials. It doesn't it has no in-app purchases. It asks for none of your information. And it's just an opportunity for um, anyone who wants to, to look for unicorns in the forest. So if you're interested in doing that, you can download the app. In the meantime, keep looking for magic out there in the world.